Hey, what's up, soldiers? My name is Greg FPS, Zombies Extraordinaire, and welcome back to another video here today on the channel. During Black Ops 4 Zombies, I made Dark Matter camo guides, and I helped a lot of people get the camos that they wanted for the guns that took a little bit more time or guns that were just a lot more difficult. I gave strategies and tips on how to get them faster, and I think a lot of people really benefited from those videos. So I decided to continue on the series here in Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War Zombies, where the highest camo you can get is the Dark Ether camo. So today we're going to be starting it off with the M79, which is a grenade launcher that you also need to get diamond in order to unlock diamond camo for the knife. This is a special weapon and it definitely takes a very, very long time. But hopefully all the strategies and tips that I give in this video can help you guys get this camo a lot faster and more efficiently. So without further ado, we're going to go step by step through the different challenges that you need to complete in order to get this camo diamond. And also we're going to give some tips here and there on some things that may take a little bit longer than others. All right, guys. So starting it off with the class, you want to have obviously the M79 as your starting weapon. And then for your field upgrade, you want Ring of Fire tier 3. What this does is create a ring of ethereal fire that boosts damage for you and allies. Normal enemies who enter gain a burn effect that deals fire damage, lasts for 15 seconds. So this really, really helps with your damage boost. For sure, this is the most important thing once you get up until round 30 and later on than that. Also, it gives you double burn effect damage, ring blocks enemy projectiles, and while in the ring, ammo is taken from your stock instead of your magazine so essentially you don't have to reload as long as you have ammo in your reserve you can literally keep spraying this weapon which is going to be super super helpful later on when it's taking multiple shots to kill the zombies so now that we got the class out of the way let's start jumping into the challenges and take a look step by step starting on level one all the way up until level 30. all right guys so the first challenge is 1500 kills now this is not specifically pack-a-punch kills but you are going to want to pack a punch your gun all the way up to tier three so the first pack is 5,000, the second is 15,000, and the third and final pack is 30,000. while you're doing this i would also recommend every single game doing the free casket easter egg because there is a chance that you can end up getting the legendary version of the m79 so you don't actually have to upgrade your gun at all the entire time so do not pack a punch until you open that crate now if you do get something like a ray gun keep that as your secondary because it's going to be super super helpful for taking care of the dogs when you're trying to get kills just with the m79 and it will also deal a lot of damage to the special zombies the megatons and everything like that so the next challenge that you unlock at level five is kill two or more enemies rapidly 50 times this is a super super easy challenge as long as you have your m79 upgraded and pack a punched you will have no problem killing two zombies 50 times it's literally a joke challenge and you should get this one done pretty much in your first game as soon as you unlock this it's really not that hard at all and the next one is the one that is the big problem and luckily you unlock this at round 10 so it's not as bad as getting it later on but this challenge alone is going to be the reason that you get over 10,000 kills getting this weapon upgraded to dark ether camo what you need to do is kill five zombies or more in one shot 750 times so yes that is the challenge and it's the same for the launchers as well this is by far the worst challenge out of the entire thing for all the camos in this game and the best way that i have found to do this is use ring of fire like i already mentioned and just run around and make trains and chances are if you don't have the ring of fire activated you can shoot a zombie and then shoot it again and then shoot it again so for example you might shoot the m79 twice and not kill anything and as long as you end up getting a kill after those two shots and you kill five zombies it will count so make sure that if you are not using ring of fire that you try to spread out the shots so that you can knock down as many zombies as possible and then shoot multiple shots to get those five kills so for example if you have a train of 30 zombies and you the highest you can get is 32 in this game for example so you can knock down all of these zombies with two shots 
so that they're all really damaged and then try to spread out those other two shots that you're going to do for 15 and 15 and that way you can get multiple each time you can run around get small hordes in certain areas if you see a lot of zombies in one specific area go ahead and shoot them and you just want to keep running around the starting room i would highly recommend this it's a lot better than the strategy that i was using where i went up the stairs a little bit now this strategy works really really good if you're using ring of fire and ring of fire you can use twice so for example you can get a train use ring of fire on the stairs shoot that train chances are all of them will die and then you can wait for more zombies to spawn in and since the ring of fire lasts for 15 seconds you can go right back where you procced it and kill more zombies and get another kill of five zombies or more so this is super super hard and i would say this one took the absolute longest but at the same time once you get all these challenges done you're just gonna keep doing it over and over and you'll get really used to it even in, when you start out you spawn with six zombies in solo you can kill all six of those in one shot with the unpacked on round one on round two it starts taking two shots which can be very annoying but you also have the weakest version of the m79 so just keep upgrading your m79 when you're playing try to get the legendary version by upgrading it at the armor station and also obviously pack a punch three times you're gonna have a ton of points left over so you can eventually use those points to hit the box and try to get the ray gun as your secondary now let's get into the next challenge which is kill 2500 zombies with papped guns now you can do this exact same challenge while you're getting the five zombies in one shot or more 750 times it's really straightforward just pack a bunch of gun the next one is going to be 10 elite kills now this is only 10 of the megatons that you have to kill and it only works on the last split of the megaton that is what is going to count so what you want to do is if you do not feel comfortable using the m79 you can use your ring of fire and spam the hell out of the megaton and eventually it will split and you can kill it using the ring of fire but if that's not working or you don't have the ring of fire active i would recommend using a crossbow to kill the megaton and then have it split or you can get a ray gun and shoot the megaton a bunch and then damage the last split and then kill it with the m79 those are the best options i would give for you that one you can use the m79 the whole time but it is definitely a lot harder the only real way to damage this thing fully and be very very effective is if you have the ring of fire so make sure to save that i would recommend for the special round or when you get the special zombies now they do spawn every four to six rounds so you can kind of plan it if you say hey i got a megaton last round so these next like couple rounds i should be fine using it in the middle of a round to kill a bunch of zombies and get some challenges done so just you got to pay attention i guess uh for your drop cycle as well because you can also get insta kills and that's really going to help as well when you're trying to get five kills with one shot so just keep that in mind the next challenge that you unlock at round 25 is or level 25 on your m79 is going to be 10 rapid kills 10 times this one is super easy once again you're going to use the ring of fire for this one you can easily kill 10 zombies rapidly because there's a full train of 32 so if you're training them all up you should get this extremely quickly and the last and final one is probably another fairly hard challenge uh it's not as bad as the five zombies in one shot but this one you unlock at round 30 and this is 20 kills without getting hit so for this one you're definitely going to be using the ring of fire uh for the entire thing and make sure that you are shooting this outside of your damage radius so you want to train up all the zombies in front of the steps at spawn and this is like right near the door with the rabbit on it you want to keep that closed the entire game by the way and you're just going to keep running around in that area until you get a very tight train and then book it to the top of the stairs and shoot the zombies now i do want to mention that during in this like stairs spot there are going to be zombies that could potentially jump up from the left hand side if you're facing like towards that rabbit door so if that ends up happening jump over the railing do not try to jump over the zombies because they'll just block you you need to jump over the railing that is extremely important but other than that that's pretty much the best tips i can give for you this gun is definitely not easy and it's very annoying and if you guys have other tips that you think would help 
make sure to comment them below and if you guys did enjoy the video and this did help you out please drop a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel and we uploading a lot more guides you can let me know which gun you want to see next down below in the comment section my name is greg fps the zombies extraordinaire and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out